We're here on the newly named Aaron Bushnell Street in Jericho. The town council made a unanimous decision to name this street after this man. But before his actions on February 25th, nobody living here, no Palestinians probably living across the occupied territories, even knew his name. An active duty U.S. Air Force serviceman, just 25, he set himself on fire in front of the Israeli embassy in Washington, D.C. It was a protest of Israel's war on Gaza and his own government's role in it. Palestinians say it was a powerful expression of solidarity, and he connected with people here. I felt that he was family, someone who's so close to us, who shares our deep pain. I cried when I saw it, and I cry every time I do. This is the ultimate sacrifice at a time where no one seems to see us. We feel so alone. One street sign may not change anything, but here in one of the longest continuously inhabited cities in the world, the gateway to Palestine, Aaron Bushnell's name lives on. Palestinians in Jericho owe this serviceman. Jericho is a tourist destination, and we wanted his street to link to the main one in our city, so people would know that Palestinians are strongly connected to those who share their love for freedom, independence and rights. We have friends across the world who are ready to sacrifice in order to end the massacres. The mayor of Jericho says he hopes to invite Aaron's family as official guests to see the town, to see that despite the fact that his death was so tragic, what he did has earned him a special place in the hearts and minds of the people here. Palestinians say that what Aaron did, hearing his final words, free Palestine, made them feel seen, and for that, he won't soon be forgotten. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Jericho, in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.